Hi guys, we are here to demonstrate our project simulation of electronic control units using CAN. We are students of Oakland University. My name is Prashant Jadav. I am Nikhil Mure. I am Ajay Vagmare. I am Hiral Wadia. We are here to uh, demonstrate our project for the course ECE 570 Microprocessor Based System Design. In this project, we are going to demonstrate the CAN capabilities of HCS12 in automotive domain. In this project, we are simulating a network of two automotive electronic control units as a CAN nodes. This will be created using two Dragon 12 boards and they will be communicating on different IDs. SCS CAN 12 module provides an efficient and optimized method to send and receive CAN messages. In automotive domain, electronic control unit is a generic term for any embedded system that controls one or more of the electrical systems or subsystems. In this project, we are simulating door issue and CTCUs as a two CAN nodes. The door issue will monitor its switch inputs and control the motor for the forward and backward and uh, left and right positions of the seat controlled by the CTCU. Other feature can enable uh, CTCU to sense environment temperature or the seat temperature and send this temperature value to the door issue over CAN. One of the other feature is adaptive light dimmer. Subsystems will glow the headlamp, which is a halogen lamp, at an intensity level considering external ambient light disturbances. Door issue will monitor the reference and feedback from a photo sensor and will communicate this sensor data over CAN to the CTCU. CTCU will control the light intensity of the headlamp. This system feature will be accessible after successful authentication over keypad connected to CTCU. Now we are going to see a quick demo of this project. These system features will be uh, accessible only after proper authentication from the keypad connected to the CTCU. Now I will show you the demo. Let me download the program on the both issues. Yes, as you have seen, uh, it will ask for a key so that it can uh, authenticate the uh, access to control all the features and you can see the temperature shown is 0 degree Celsius. So right now it doesn't, uh, it doesn't show the actual temperature because these features would be accessible only after I put a key, proper key. So first of all I will try with uh, entering a wrong key. So my key would be anything like if I press this one, key number 9, it says like access denied to the control to take control. The proper key is key 1. So now I will press key 1. It says access to take control and now you can see all the system is performing well and as per functionality. The temperature is displayed on the door issue light intensity is displayed on the CTCU and as the light intensity varies the halogen bulb is glowing with that intensity. First of all I will show you uh, a demo of first feature in which we are the door ECU is monitoring the switch inputs and it is controlling the pan tilt mechanism to to move the motor to move one of the servo in the left and right direction and one of the servo in the um, in the forward and backward directions so first of all i will control the pan motor yes now i control the tilt one yes as you can see here uh, i'm sensing a temperature uh, from the seat issue uh, by using this temperature sensor this senses the temperature and this sensor data it is supplied over these two CAN wires CAN H and CAN L over CAN this data is supplied to the door issue and door issue displays it on LCD like now it is 23 degrees Celsius 22 or 23 degrees Celsius the third feature is regarding the adaptive light dimming. So what, what do we mean by adaptive light dimming? Adaptive light dimming is a, uh, is a solution for like low power consumption. 
uh, as we can see uh, in a daylight we don't use headlamps whereas in the night time we use the headlamps so it is mostly dependent on the uh, external like environmental light intensities so we can use a photo sensor to sense the light and uh, we can take that input to uh, use the headlamps so in daytime we will shut down the headlamps in the night time we can just glow the headlamps with the highest intensity when it's too dark so we have came with a solution for this one so one of the issue uh, in a door issue we are sensing a uh, <coughs> light intensity using this light sensor it's it sends the light and it gives this data to the CTCU over CAN and CTCU it displays the light intensity as you can see here the light intensity is changing <coughs> and we can see here uh, we have a hardware circuitry so that we can drive a high load such as a halogen lamp so halogen lamp here represents a headlamp so we are uh, glowing this halogen lamp with the intensity proportional to the light intensity <coughs> as we can see when the intensity is too high you can see the the halogen lamp goes dimmer and dimmer so as we start to increase the uh, decrease the light intensity so as we start to uh, simulate a condition like we are moving towards the night time of a uh, night time then the intensity of a uh, halogen lamp starts increasing yes so in this way we can con uh, we can consume uh, power in a very precise way and yes yeah, that is a very good solution for uh, power uh, power consumption of a car that's all we have for this demo